Hi, so good morning. Welcome to this another series lecture about Electrical Wiring Simulator or AWS. Today, we're going to perform the third activity under the three-phase induction motor or the motors menu. Okay, so the title for this one is the Direct Online Motor Starter. So basically, this is just an extension to the previous activities that we had. Okay, click the play and then we click in the normal mode and then let's explore the circuit first. So the only difference in... The previous lecture that we had, the previous activity that we had is we added this pilot lamp here and then the pilot lamp here. So this pilot lamp will serve as a source lamp. So this will indicate if the circuit breaker is turned on. And then this one here, this is the running lamp. So this will indicate if the motor is running or the uh, magnetic contactor number one is energized. Okay, so let's wire this one. So since this is quite similar to the previous activity that we had, so I think we already developed some sort of mastery. Okay, so from this first one, then the breaker. Okay, we can try to memorize the circuit. So the output, and then let's go back here to the circuit breaker and then go back. Okay, and then we can do this uh, one wire here. So from the PB1, PB2, and then KM1, one wire at a time. Okay, so we can connect this one to the output of our, this one, okay, and then output, and then the output is connected to our A1 here, okay, and then the output of our A2 can be connected to the, okay, let's connect this one to going back to that one, okay, to our uh, first one. Okay, and then the 13 and 14, the 13 will serve as our uh, holding contact. Okay, so this one here. And then this PL3 will be connected in parallel with our KM1 as our source lamp, as our uh, running lamp. So the in, uh, the out is for the A2, the in for the A1. So as simple as that. So uh, let's connect now the power circuit. So from the breaker. Okay, this is quite similar to the previous uh, wiring that we had, okay? And then from the contactor to the thermal relay, and then from the thermal relay to the induction motor. Okay, let's have the uh, overview of the circuit. Let's click the submit button. Too many connections, okay? So let's review, maybe uh, there's some sort of connection. Let's try to undo some of the connections here so okay so this one let's connect this one to a1 so that's the end for the control circuit let's try to connect that one and then and then for this one for the thermal relay and then the thermal relay to the induction motor Okay, click to submit. Okay, so passed. So based from the description of the from the functionality of the circuit, if you press the PB2, this one should turn on, and then we should be able to see that our motor uh, should have an RPM, or in your case, you should be able to hear that mm, the sound of a running motor. Okay, so let's try. Okay, click, and then I'm still holding my finger on this. Uh, push button so if i'm going to release so the motor is still running at 1763 rpm the pilot lamp 3 is also uh, turned on however if i press the pb1 the motor will uh, stop running and the pl3 will turn uh, off okay start again and then release okay and then stop so in the next lecture, we will be adding this one, the thermal overload relay, the normally closed and normally open the thermal overload relay. Okay, so see you in the next lecture.